What's up YouTube? This is Shabazz and I'm back with another CBD hemp flower review. What's up everybody? I hope you're staying healthy, staying safe. Before we get into the review, really gotta talk about the shirt I'm wearing. It's one of the newer items in my merch collection. It's from the old 1920s, 1930s, anti-marijuana propaganda. It looks dope as a shirt. This is one of my favorite pieces. Make sure you check that out. The link is down in the description. Now today, we have a returning vendor to the channel. I reviewed some of their stuff a couple months back and I wasn't too impressed, even though I heard a lot of good stuff about them. In the last couple months, they've been releasing a lot of new strains. There's been a lot of hype about one of them in particular over on Reddit. So I had to go make sure I got some of them so I could give them a second chance. The vendor in question is Two Strains. Now, if you remember my review I did on them a couple months back, I reviewed three of their outdoor strains. I wasn't too impressed. There's nothing special about them. But today I got their Purple Kush, which a lot of people have been talking about it since it released. This is outdoor. A lot of people like it though. I've been hearing a lot about it. An indoor hydro grown ACDC, a classic high CBD strain. Now, along with the flower, we of course have letter to law enforcement and test results. Also have one of these dope business cards, dope sticker. I did get one of these in my last shipment, but this is a dope, dope sticker. And a 10 milligram CBD Zolve Peach Mango CBD Strip. And that's just, uh, that's just a freebie, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if they're selling those or what. Interesting. I never tried anything like that. So I'm gonna be starting off with this ACDC. It's going off with a bang. This is an indoor hydro. ACDC is a hybrid, generally sativa dominant. All right, the ACDC comes in at 13.76% CBD. Uh, that's lower mid range right there. Remember 15 to 20% is what I consider really good. 0.61% total THC, a fair amount of total THC. So it's decent on the cannabinoids. Let me just show it to you through the package. I have seen this. I've seen pictures of this. I believe this is the ACD that is grown hydro hydroponically by Queen. It's real beautiful, real purple. I haven't tried it, haven't smelled it, anything. Oh, and you see that? You see that boost pack that's inside the package? That's dope. Love, love, love when vendors ship their flower with Boveda packs or Integra packs. Mmm, hold on. Let's get that pack out. Mm, that smells like that smells like berries and pepper. No gassiness to it. it. Smells like pine saw and berries with a spicy pepperiness on top. This is two grams. This is a whole little two gram nug right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Unfortunately, it got a little compressed from shipping, but you can still see it. Beautiful dark purple and green with those orange pistols. Lots of trichomes. No bad smell either. It smells like pine saw, berries, and pepper. I mean, honestly, that's exactly what it smells like. And of course, the trim on this is perfect. Wow, it's covered in trichomes. Absolutely covered in trichomes. Nice nug structure. The trichomes look like frost on the super, super dark purple leaf and calyx color. That's dope. I'm gonna go ahead and pack a bowl of this, and while I do that, I'm gonna put a high resolution image here. All right, after breaking that down, I have to say, this ACDC is some of the most beautiful hemp flower I've ever seen. The color is amazing. It goes from light purple to dark purple. It's absolutely caked in trichome. Once you break it open, the trichome coverage is caked down to the stem. So far, I see no flaws in this flower whatsoever. First hit, very smooth, no throat burn. It has a clean taste to it. It doesn't taste how it smells, it just tastes kind of clean. Second hit, still really smooth, no throat burn. The flavor's not bad, I just wish that it was better given the way that this flower looks.
that's pretty smooth flour. I like the way it hits. Kind of better than standard hemp taste, but that smoothness is good. I'm gonna go ahead and give this an eight on the smoothness scale. That big hit did produce a little bit more throat burn, but that's just because I took a bigger hit. It was still pretty smooth smoke. One nice hit for the bowl. You know, I think the smoke kind of has that fruity berry smell to it. Anyways, give me a few minutes to let this kick in and I'm gonna come back and let you know how I feel. Five minutes later. All right, I'm back. Now that ACDC, as I suspected, it's definitely a hybrid strain leaning towards sativa. Now it had very noticeable effects. I could feel it, but I didn't feel sedated. I didn't feel drowsy. I didn't feel couch locky at all. I just kind of felt a little bit more focused. Not necessarily energized like some sativas do, but I feel focused and I do feel a little bit motivated. I don't really feel any torso pressure, pressure behind the eyes or anything. I just feel a lot of brain fog right here in the cerebral area. You know, kind of numbness kind of all over the top of my head. Other than that though, I don't really feel anything very much from the neck down. So this is definitely more of a sativa leaning hybrid. And the effects are very apparent, they're there. I can really feel it in my head. This is a really strong head high. Almost nothing is going on in the body. So this probably wouldn't be good for pain, probably wouldn't be good for sleep. This is definitely more of something that you want to do during the day. All in all, I really can't find anything that's really wrong with this flower. The effects are good, it's beautiful, it smells good. I guess you could say I wish it tasted better, but this is definitely getting the Shabazz seal of approval. That ACDC is some of the best looking hemp flower I've ever seen. And on top of that, it has some good effects. And I just have to say, as I keep talking, I definitely am starting to feel a lot of weight on my eyelids. My eyes want to just close. Really, really potent strain. You know, we keep seeing these strains that aren't super high in cannabinoids, not super high in CBD, end up being super potent because of all the entourage effects, terpenes and everything. This is one of those. Whew. All right, let's get into this purple kush. I'm gonna assume that it's an indica dominant strain, which is why I saved it for last. But just check it out through the package. Look at that, super dark purple. Tell me that just doesn't look indica to you. Once again, it comes with the Integra Boost Pack. That's dope. Test results for the Purple Kush. 12.7% CBD. Once again, not super high in CBD. 0.55% total THC. Average amount of total THC. Like I said, a lot of people talked about this when it got released. A lot of people posted pictures of it. Purple Kush, Purple Kush from two strains, blah, blah, blah. Let's check it out. Yeah, you know, this definitely has a small amount of that cushy scent to it. It does smell kind of like some cushes, some hemp cushes that I've tried, just in particular Bubba Kush, but it has another scent to it. It's very familiar, but hard to place. I almost want to say this kind of smells like a cushy abacus. Not abacus diesel, but the original just abacus, which is OG Kush and Purple Urkel. It's not super strong, it's not super pronounced. Remember, this is outdoor flower, I believe, but it's there. I don't smell any kind of uncuredness or chlorophyll hay smell. I just smell that kind of light cushiness behind this other smell. It's so hard to describe, but I kind of think abacus is something I've smelled some of this. Go ahead and check that out. Look how dark purple that is. And then with the contrast of those bright orange pistols. Yeah, that's wild, that's wild. That just screams indica to me. I wish you could smell it though. It definitely smells like, it smells kind of like Bubba Kush. It has that Bubba Kush scent to it along with something else which I want to say reminds me of an abacus smell. Abacus is a great strain and it's doing a lot of big things, producing a lot of good flour. It just has an absolutely terrible name. That is one of the top three worst strain names of all time. The trim on this is good. The cure seems good, it's spongy, it bounces back. I don't see any seeds or swollen calyxes, not to say that there's none in here, but there's none sticking out or visible from the outside. Overall, this looks pretty good. Let me break this down. While I do that, I'm gonna put a high resolution image here.
All right, breaking that down, I didn't find any seeds, mold, bug pieces or anything. That's good. Let's get to it. Pretty smooth first hit. This definitely has a little bit of that cush taste in the back of the throat. That kind of spicy, minty, peppery taste that just kind of lingers there. Nice. Second hit, a little bit more harsh. That cushy taste is still there, lingering after the exhale. And this one definitely isn't as smooth as that indoor ACDC. It's not terrible, it's not unsmokable, it just has a little bit of throat burn. We'll go ahead and say this one's probably a six and a half on the smoothness scale. Yeah, so far, my only complaint, I wish that it was smoother. Other than that, this is pretty good. It has a good taste, looks good, not full of seeds or anything. You know, for one thing, I definitely think this would probably be better in a blunt. Just because you're not taking big old rips of it, like with a bong, this would definitely be a good smoking experience in something else other than a bong or a bubbler. All right, that's pretty much the bowl. Yeah, besides a little bit of harshness on the smoke, I'm impressed. It smells good, tastes good, tastes nice and cushy. Let's see how the effects are. Let me let them kick in. I'll come back and let you know. A few minutes later. All right, I'm back. After I cut away from the video, I immediately started yawning and I had to go sit down. This is one of those strains that just makes you not want to do nothing. Yeah, this is definitely one of those strains that if you need to relax, you need to take the edge off the day, you want to go home and sit on the couch and stare at the TV or something, smoke this before you do that. You're not going to regret it. Definitely more of an indica-like strain. I feel more physical effects with this one. I definitely feel it more in the body, a little tingly, a little bit of numbness all over. A little bit of like a, a warm feeling kind of went over me. I have cotton mouth. My eyes feel heavy. I don't feel a ton of brain fog. I just feel real. I just, you see, I want to slouch. I feel lazy. I'm gonna get lazy. I, I, this is definitely a lazy strain. So this isn't a strain I would recommend to smoke if you got to get something done. Because you might not get it done or you might not want to do it. This is definitely, definitely indica dominant. It has indica dominant effects to where that ACDC kind of really you know, had me up and thinking and kind of like all up in here. This purple kush is the exact opposite. The purple kush is just, man, makes me want to melt. And it's just all in my body, just kind of like a warm numbness, all in my limbs and everything. This is definitely a nighttime strain. Well, I mean, you could smoke in the daytime too. If you don't want to do nothing, you're just chilling, go ahead and smoke in the daytime. But I think if you're one of those people that's looking for something that's good for the nighttime when you're trying to go to sleep, when you're trying to settle down, this is definitely that. I could definitely see somebody smoking this and then just laying down and totally going to sleep. Not that it's making me sleepy, but I just feel super relaxed. And I just feel like if I went and laid down right now, I could probably easily fall asleep right now. I have to say, I really love the effects of the strain. And I don't say that often because a lot of times hemp flower is underwhelming as far as what you're expecting in the effects. And this one is definitely very potent, but it's very relaxing and you can really feel it. I think when this video is done, I'm gonna go smoke some more of that so I could prolong this feeling. I really, really like it. I'm giving that the Shabazz seal of approval, of course. Uh, for outdoor flower, that's really good. But most of all, I think, and I haven't said this in a long time, but the best part of that flower, not only does it look and smell good, but the effects are very good. I'm impressed by that. This is what I talk about when vendors kind of get bad reviews on my channel and I always say, look, I'm always open to giving a vendor another chance. Just because that first batch of flour that I got or, you know, this strain that you don't carry anymore, or whatever. And I think two strains is definitely packing some heat now, especially compared to what they had before when I first reviewed them. 
So without a doubt, I'm gonna definitely keep checking out Two Strings. I'm gonna definitely keep messing with them, trying out their flower. I definitely like the experience that I had here today. That's the review though, y'all. Thank you for watching. Remember, if you want this shirt or other shirts that are designed by me, they're all cannabis and hemp related, check out the link in the description. Go check out the merch, support the channel. Hit me up on Instagram. I post stuff there, pictures I don't post here. You know, little information about the industry. Hit me up on Insta Instagram. My handle's here, down in the description. Hit like if you liked the video. Hit me up down in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you can see when I upload new content. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I thank you for coming back, watching my videos, taking my opinions into consideration. I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day or night, and please stay tuned for the next video. Peace.